So when should we use Kafka and when should we use RabbitMQ? Let's start with the question of what is Kafka? Kafka is a distributed event streaming platform built for handling large volumes of real-time data. It's used in environments where data streams are constantly flowing and its architecture is built to allow scalability, fault tolerance, and durability. Kafka's core concepts include producers, these generate messages or events. There's also brokers, which store and manages the messages in a Kafka cluster. There are also topics where messages are organized and each topic can have multiple partitions. Consumers read the messages from the topics either in real time or at their own pace. Kafka excels at handling high throughput data, such as log data collection, analytics pipelines, or event-based architectures. Its distributed nature allows it to process large streams of events in real time, often used in data-intensive systems. What is RabbitMQ? RabbitMQ is a message broker designed for message queuing between services or applications. It uses a more traditional approach where producers send messages to exchanges, which then route these messages to queues based on binding rules. RabbitMQ supports various exchange types like direct, topic, and fan out, which allow for flexible message routing patterns. RabbitMQ has a few key features. The producers send the messages to the broker. The exchanges route the messages to the appropriate queues. The queues is where the messages are stored until consumed by the consumers. The consumers read and process messages from the queue. RabbitMQ shines in cases where reliable message delivery is needed. It's often used for task distribution in microservices architectures or handling background jobs like sending emails or processing images. There are many differences between Kafka and RabbitMQ. One is message streaming versus message queuing. Kafka is an event streaming platform built to handle real-time, continuous data streams. It stores messages for a configurable period and allows consumers to read from any point in the log, not just real-time. RabbitMQ is a message queue system, which delivers messages once, and they are typically consumed and then removed from the queue. It focuses more on discrete messages with flexible routing. Number two is data retention and replay. In Kafka, data or events is stored for a set period or indefinitely, allowing consumers to reread past messages. It treats messages as a log, which is great for systems needing event replay or auditability. RabbitMQ typically deletes messages once they are consumed, though it can be configured to do otherwise. It's focused on message durability and real-time processing, not storing messages long-term. RabbitMQ is ideal for smaller scale real-time tasks, such as processing background jobs or coordinating services in real time. Number three is scalability. Kafka is built for horizontal scalability. By partitioning topics across multiple brokers, Kafka can handle huge volumes of messages, millions per second. RabbitMQ scales well, but it generally is not built to handle the same kind of massive throughput. It's designed for low latency, reliable delivery, with flexibility in message routing. Number four is message ordering. Kafka maintains strict order within partitions, but not across partitions. This ensures that consumers can process messages in order, which is critical for event processing. In RabbitMQ, messages are ordered in the queue, but once consumed, they are no longer available for other consumers. Ordering is not guaranteed when multiple queues are involved. Number five is throughput. Kafka can handle extremely high throughput due to its distributed architecture, making it well-suited for big data, log aggregation, and real-time analytics. RabbitMQ is great for lower throughput use cases with fast message delivery and complex routing, but doesn't match Kafka in terms of raw throughput. Number six is use case focus. Kafka is commonly used for data pipelines, event streaming, and real-time analytics where massive continuous streams of data are ingested, processed, and analyzed. RabbitMQ is used for message-driven systems such as task queues, microservices communication, or systems needing reliable one-time message delivery. In summary, Kafka is designed for streaming massive amounts of data with a focus on scalability 
and retaining messages, making it ideal for event-driven architectures. WebMQ focuses on reliable, flexible message delivery, typically used in task-based or microservices systems where complex routing and low latency are key.